We all know that the ocean is incredibly deep, but to be honest, most of us aren't too sure on how deep the ocean actually is. So, today, I'm putting on my submarine hat, and we're going to be finding out how deep the ocean really is. Along with this, we're going to find out what creatures may be living down there. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Right, let's do this. The ocean is really, really deep. The ocean is very deep. Good observation. If you were to shave oh, such a terrifying the picture. The tops of every continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest points with yeah. that land, then the entire earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep. Three no of our way! Wait, wait, I don't think you understand how crazy that is. If we smoothed out our land so we were smooth as could possibly be, and chucked all the access like dirt and stuff into the ocean, there will still be only two miles of water. There'll be no land at all. That is ridiculous. And it is already covered in water though, and it goes a lot deeper than 75% of the world is covered Let's in start ocean. With a sense of scale. This dot right here is the size of an average human. That's me. That's me. Dot Except I'm 6'2. Elephant, and this is the nice. size of the largest ship ever built, the Nock Nevis. Really? With that in mind. Hang on. The Nock Nevis actually isn't that big. Look, look at it. Why is it why is it only like 10 elephants or 20 elephants? I think I can make a bigger ship than that. I'm not lying. <laughs> Let's start going underwater and see what we find out. Oh, I'm excited. The first mile I'm so excited. Is at 40 meters below the surface, which is the maximum depth allowed for recreational nice. scuba diving. I've done a that before. A little further down at 93 meters is where the wreck of the Lusitania was discovered, which is okay. interesting because the Lusitania itself is 240 meters long, which means that it sank in water shallower than it is long. So if the ship what? was standing on its stern or bow, it would be sticking out of the water. Just That's quite cool, actually. That's quite cool. That, at 100 meters is where diving can become seriously fatal if you're not careful because of decompression sickness. But that I've heard, I've heard that when you have decompression sickness, it like makes you all go bubbly and weird and nauseous and stuff like that. So if you ever, if you ever do have that, go straight to hospital. But so far, it's not that deep. I mean, I could swim down to that probably because again, built different. But that didn't stop a man named Herbert Nitsch to accomplish the free diving world record at a depth okay. of 214 ah! meters. This guy's- Sorry, the, the deadly part of diving is 100 meters and this guy's doubled it plus 14 meters and he's not dead. So he's just lied to us. <laughs> this video is already a lie. What? 214 meters. This guy swam down to this level with just one single breath. But a little further One down breath, at 314 meters. meters, we have the scuba diving world record, which was accomplished by another man named They keep Arthur lying Gebert. to us! He just said if it was 100 meters! If another 111 meters, then he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building if it was okay. submerged underwater. Okay, that's crazy. And a little crazy. further than that, at 500 meters below the surface, we arrive at the maximum dive depth of blue whales. Okay, that the is nuts. Creatures on the planet 500 meters! The limit of the U.S. Seawolf class nuclear submarine. At 535 meters, we can witness the maximum dive depth of Emperor Penguins, and this is when we must bring up the intensity of water pressure. At this level below the- Emperor Penguins can dive to 535 meters? Why isn't that talked about enough? That's like people don't talk about parrots enough. They can speak English. And that, that's the equivalent of Emperor Penguins diving to 535 meters. How don't they just explode? They're talking about water pressure now. How don't they just explode? Let's let's keep watching. And this is when we must bring up the intensity of water pressure. At this level below the surface, the water pressure exerted on a person or the penguins would be roughly equivalent to a polar bear standing on a quarter. So further down the depths at eight hundred thirty meters, how was it the penguin exploded then? The height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Eight hundred thirty meters the Burj Khalifa. Okay. Once we hit one thousand meters below the surface, we begin to enter the scary zone. Light from the Hang surface on. can no longer reach. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't the scary zone. Are you kidding me? That isn't the scary zone. Are, are you joking? That is the scariest zone of all of them. Are you kidding? A polar bear standing on a quarter and that isn't scary. Nah, what? So, 
Light from the surface can no longer reach beyond this point, so the rest of the ocean below is shrouded in permanent darkness. Okay, I get why it's scary now. Of that, I'll take it the back. water pressure you would experience at this point would be about the same as if you were standing on the surface of the planet Venus, meaning that you would die very quickly. Okay. You would also wow. meet the giant squid at this sea level if the oh, water wow. pressure didn't already kill you. Okay, now that's at 1, that's scary. 280 <laughs> meters, we reach the maximum depth dived to by the leatherback sea turtle, and further down. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've just been told that if I'm below a thousand feet or meters, it's like being on Venus and I will die. And then he proceeds to say, Turtle's gone down there, mate. What, what's the difference between me and a turtle? Why can the turtle survive and I just explode? Further down at 1,828 meters, we would reach the deepest part of the Grand Canyon okay. were to be underwater with that, us. That is down crazy. Down at 2,000 meters, we start to encounter some of the 2, more terrifying meters. sea creatures, like the ominously named Black Dragonfish, a carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it. Meaning that since we're in total darkness underwater at this point, the only way you would ever see this thing is with a flash oh that is a terrifying what is that hold on look at this look at this thing how do i get it on it <laughs> look at that what is that thing what is that oh my god imagine going for a swim yeah and you're like you're, you're in the caribbean imagine i'm swimming look i'm having a nice little time i put my goggles on Look down, and there's this thing staring back at me. Oh my god, I would cry. <gasps> no way. Ever see this thing is with a flashlight. A little further down, at 2,250 meters, we would reach the maximum depth dived to by both sperm whales and the very Again, frightening why don't they explode? squid. Okay, that's sperm terrifying. whales often have sucker marks and scars left on their bodies from battles with a colossal squid that likely take place at these incredible depths. Oh my god. The squids themselves can grow to be 14 meters long and weigh up to 750 kilograms. Stop it! 14 meters long! That's not the size of my peen- Squids <coughs> themselves can grow to be 14 meters long and weigh up to 750 kilograms with eyes the size of a dinner plate and razor sharp sickles in the middle of their tentacles. Yeah, that's terrifying. So, yeah. Good luck with that down there. Yeah, that's Way terrifying. further down at 3,800 meters, we can find the wreck of the RMS this is... Titanic. Why is and this so deep? That at four... I haven't actually calculated how deep this is. I'm like 1 meter 8 nine or eight seven one one meter point eight nine or eight seven this is four thousand meters now so that's like two thousand of me pretty much two thousand five hundred of me stacked on top of each other oh my god so we can find the wreck of the rms titanic and a bit past that at four thousand meters we start to enter the abyssal zone of the ocean the abyssal water zone. pressure is at an astonishing eleven thousand pounds per square inch that's like a crocodile and there are it. numerous <laughs> strange almost alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths such as the fang tooth Anglerfish. Oh hell and no! Viper what are they? Fish. Down at 4,200. That's not something you see on SpongeBob. Is the average depth of the ocean where you would normally expect to hit the floor. Okay, hang on, hang on. The, ocean the average depth of an ocean is 4,260 meters, and there's still two minutes left of this video, so that means it goes even deeper than that. <laughs> normally expect to hit the floor, but there are parts of the ocean that go significantly deeper than even wow. this. At 4,791 meters rests the wreckage of the battleship Bismarck sunk during World War II, and oh way down God. at 6,000 meters is the beginning of the Hadal Zone, Six thousand meters. Hades itself. The water pressure down at these depths can become 1,100 times what you would experience way back on top at the surface, which is roughly equal to an elephant balancing on a postage stamp or oh a single person God. carrying the weight of 50 Boeing 747 jumbo jets. <laughs> down at these depths, you what? I mean, for me, I could bench press at least 59 Boeing 747s, whatever they're called. But for an average man like you. <laughs> no, but seriously, that is crazy. 50 aeroplanes! Down at these depths, you would be crushed immediately without any outside protection, but life still exists down here in various See, forms. that I don't get. At How are they surviving 50 Boeing 757s? The maximum depth that the DSV Alvin can dive to, a popular research submarine that helped to discover the Okay, that's cool. Way cool. further down at 8,848 meters below the surface, and we have arrived at the height of Mount Everest. No to be way it still goes deeper than that. Water. And then way That's Mount Everest. That, at 10,898 meters, we arrive at the depth reached by James Cameron in 2012 during the Deep Sea Challenger mission. They've just said 
anything below, what, 4,000 metres was it? 6,000 metres was 50 Boeing, Boeing 7-4 blah blah blahs. And this James Cameron Don has gone down in this green cucumber looking thing and thought, yeah, let's go to nearly 11,000 metres. Why not? How has he not died? I'm sorry. That is, if you put 50 Boeing 747s on top of this little cucumber thing, it's going to be squashed. How is that? That doesn't add up to me in the slightest, actually. I, I think I think they're fibbing. The moon landing all over again. James the Cameron. The point in the what ocean yet reached by humans was back in 1960, though, when two men named Don Walsh and Jacques Picard reached a depth of 10,916 meters using their Trieste submarine. It took them five hours to descend through the ocean to this depth, and they only stayed for 20 minutes. Did they die? The window cracked, and they began to resurface. Just a bit further down Oh from my there, god, imagine a window cracking down there. Two meters and we reached the average flight altitude of a commercial Stop airliner. Stop it! So if you've ever looked Stop out of a window it! while on a flight and looked down to the ground, that's a very good sense of how incredibly deep down into the... I have to take, I have to take a breather for that. Are you kidding? I went on a flight like four days ago and I looked out the window and I went, that is, that's high. That's, that's the same as, oh my god. That is stupid. That shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. 10,009. Oh my god. That's a very good sense of how incredibly deep down into the abyss that we are currently at. Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we have nuts. hit the bottom of the known ocean called the Challenger Deep, right here on this map, just about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Island. However, it is believed that there are almost certainly even deeper parts of the ocean than this that just haven't been discovered yet. It wasn't until 1997, after all, that the Serena Deep was discovered with a depth of 10,732 meters. That is... the second deepest known point in the that ocean. That just hurts my it brain. It is estimated that only about 5% of the ocean's floor has been accurately mapped, leaving the other 95% to be currently a mystery. It may be only a matter of time before an even deeper part of our ocean is found, and who knows what we may discover there. Sorry, 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 sorry. So you're telling me that we potentially haven't even seen the bottom of... Okay, um, that's all for this video. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> One more thing, um, go watch these videos here if you're bored. Uh, subscribe, bye, see, see you later.